Yo, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Pops a build back. Not a lot going on today. We got a pretty short video for you. Precision farming is going to be here in one week, and we got seven monitors to talk about today. A lot of Massey Ferguson. Check it out. Starting off today with the testing list, which has literally over a hundred more mods on it since yesterday, sitting at 139 mods total. For PC, aka the first stage of testing, a few notable mods include the Agco Harvester Pack, Asset Decals, we got the Backloader Pack, the Big Turtle Saddle Tanks. We've also got some fun stuff like the BKT Trailer and Implements Pack, Case IH 956 1056 XL, which are kind of like smaller versions of the 1455 XL. We also have the Grisetta Pack and Dark Forest the next chapter who how's about some Deutz farm mods like the agristar 661 in the m series the dirty nader which just doesn't sound right out loud wheels of east Ven vineland or vinland new jersey usa that's pretty cool tons of stuff in testing still like goldcrest valley we got the john deere 250 we also have the 8r and 7r brazil pack that we talked about in farm some news yesterday i believe we also have the john deere 90 20 90 30 series from sid mining and the 9rx 2022 series which i should have a video on soon if that doesn't release before I get the video done. Also, some other goodies in testing, like the Perard update. We have the Santana 88 back in testing. That is the Land Rover. We also have Nurse Trailer and Seed Runner that we showed off over the weekend. And the Zader Pack, which I'm sure is going to be getting great love. Moving over to console testing, we have the Adirante R200A, Auto Load Vehicles Pack. Wonder what that'll be. Auto Load IT Runner and Auto Shipping of Animal Products. We even have uh, Steve's Mods, Case Puma 240 CBX Power Drive back in testing, as well as a Lizard 100 pickup truck and milk extension and straw chopper just to name a few with all that being said we still have 463 mods sitting waiting to be tested which is down almost 200 mods since yesterday and the current average waiting time newly submitted mods is also significantly down to 12 workdays from 16. not a bad way to get your mods sent off Oh yeah. We are one week away from the release of Precision Farming for FS22. This free DLC for PlayStation, Xbox, PC, and Mac players is going to be bringing a ton of new features into the game, including new equipment and tools, different soil types and soil sampling, environmental score and analysis, crop sensors, variable rate seeding, fertilizing, spreading, and weed control, and more. The DLC will be available on the Mod Hub, just like a normal mod. As far as I know, it does not require a new game save to be added to your game either, so that's great news. I'll be doing plenty of testing next week, so if you want to know exactly how precision farming is going to work in-game and how it could benefit you personally, stay tuned for that. One thing, because this is a free DLC, don't expect any first looks like a normal DLC, as Giants have not done early looks for free content in the past for any game they've done. If that changes though, I will let you know, so don't worry about that. One thing that I do know is that Giants have teased that fact sheets will be returning for at least the new equipment coming with this DLC, so we'll likely see those on Friday. Get ready. Giant Software continue with their Community Spotlight series later today at 2 p.m. Eastern Time with a live stream with none other than the man himself, Mr. Silly P, who I've titled the father of farms. It's a thing. It's real. This has been a really fun series hosted by community team member Kerminator Live. What up, kid? With other names like Virtual Farmer, Formal Pickle, Clutch Simulations, and some weird DJ guy, just to name a few. These streams are a lot of fun, and it's a nice change to get to know the person behind the content. I've mentioned it before, but Mr. Silly P is the whole reason I started doing what I'm doing right now in the first place, and I would not miss this stream for the world. You can watch it on the Farming Simulator YouTube channel, Giants Twitch, and the Farming Simulator Facebook page. We'll have the YouTube link below so you guys can check that out. See you there. If you play on console and cannot find the new Krebok map that was released yesterday, well, shortly after my mod video went live, the map was taken off consoles and made available only on PC. I know that it did run pretty rough on my Series S, and I even had some hiccups on my insane PC, the one with the 3090 and 128 gigs of RAM. Yeah, that was wild. This could be in part to the over 1,500 slots that are used up just in new farmer mode alone, or it could be something else. The map's only 250 megabytes, but man, it's a bit tough to run. Either way, as it stands right now, this map is only for PC. Making our way into today's top stories, we've got some new picks and information from AMG Agri Modding on his Massey Ferguson 5400 pack, showing off the entire fleet that's going to be coming with the mod. No matter what shape or generation you prefer, this pack's going to have it. I'm partial to the drop nose myself, as it's similar to one of the ones that I had in Farm Sim 17, 
And of course, nostalgia always wins. But I'm really excited for the pack as a whole. He does say that soon the mod pack is going to be finished up and we'll be going out to his testers. And he's even working on something kind of neat for store images. Seen here, when you buy one and then go into the owned vehicle section, you can actually see the correct color shown there. That way, though, you always know which one you've got selected. This is wild. I've never seen anybody do this before in 22. This is really cool. Another Massey Ferguson. EY Modding says this Massey 104,000 went into the second stage of testing, aka console testing, soon after Farm Some News was released yesterday. So hopefully we'll see those soon. Maybe even today we'll find out. He also says that he is back with regular updates since it's been about a week or two since we talked about him. There were just no updates and he's been busy with real life. That does happen, but it's great news and I'm glad to see him back. Ready to party. If that's not enough Massey for you for one day, well, Peter J. Monning has some information on his 1200 and 1250, but it may not be what you want to hear. Or it may be great news for you. We'll find out. He says that the mods will not be coming to Mod Hub as they did fill testing again. It says he doesn't feel like investing any more time into the mod. It is sad, and plenty of other great modders have had the same issues, but they've still gotten their mods out. Either way, if you're on PC and you want to get it right now, he's released it. He's got a Dropbox link. I've got a bit.ly link for that down in the description. And unless something changes with this mod as a whole, this will be the last time that we talk about it on Farm Some News. Molly Cow Modding has uploaded another project to Mod Hub for testing, the Gorg Roller 300, which works like the rollers in 19 did and not in 22 as a fertilizer for your fields. Rollers were a great way to get cheap fertilizer, and if you're looking for a nice looking mod to get the job done, here it is. It's not massive, and it's not meant for large fields. With 300 names, probably 3 meters. So unless you're a glutton for punishment, just use this on small fields and you'll be just fine. Polycount always kills it with the mods, and the quality is top notch, so you know that this one's going to be nice. Dutch Inc. says that one of their Discord members are working on this bad boy right here, the Hilaris Jumbo Silage Distributor, with the aim being for Mod Hub. Mods like this are really cool, and the silage distributors make life much, much easier by helping getting the chaff spread out and level more consistently. If you've never used one, definitely give it a try. They rock. Flosty94 has an update on his Shire Farm map, saying it's almost completed and ready to be tested before sending off to mod up. However, they do say that it may take a few weeks to get the testing done, but they're going to be streaming it over on their Facebook page, which is really cool. Link below. And they're going to be dropping a teaser video for that later this week or next week. So, Stay tuned. And lastly today, Nitro Dad updates us on what he's been up to with his upcoming Middleburg map for PC. As of yesterday, he was finishing up the last two models on the map, BGA and a green selling point, and he's still got some work to finish on two farms It still needs to do the PDA. His goal is actually to have the map ready for testing by Friday this week. The map will need some time in testing, however, as he's added some productions and it's just a big map in general. It's always Top quality and beauty from the man himself, Nitro Dad Monty. Just like these top quality software segues to the outro, kind of makes you wonder, what would it be like if I didn't do these? Okay, I got an idea. Pretend I didn't say any of this and just started with, just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, myself, nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, well, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Nah, I think we should just stick with the self-aware segues. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Go Ham fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Hey! Grimes my gears, the lack of farming simulator Lego sets. We need a couple.